Well, here's a video tutorial of how you can use Microsoft Word to build your bibliography. Obviously, we use Microsoft Word in our day-to-day -day life for various writing jobs, and it's no surprise that this software can also be used to help us with academic writing. I expect that generally you're familiar with the overall features of the software and that you can use this um, tools for various purposes. In order to build a bibliography, I would like to draw your attention to this section here called references. References is a general term and it's used to describe various reference types. It can be a table of contents, it can also be a um, table of figures and other reference types such as um, endnote and footnotes. But what we are more interested in for this tutorial is bibliography. So I would like you to have a look at this area here. So in this section we can see two terms that we are interested in, citations and bibliography. And you can also see APA, American Psychology Association. In the previous lecture we talked about this citation style and we know that this is not the only citation style as there are various other types that can be used, such as Chicago, Harvard, MLA, and so on. As we also discussed in the previous lecture, the way a particular source is cited depends partly on the citation style and partly on what material type it is. A book is cited differently to a journal article and a journal article is cited differently to a web page. So, after choosing APA style, I'll go to citations. And it shows me this area. As you can see, it's blank now because I don't have any citations included. But as you add more citations, they will appear here. And you will be able to view the sources that you have documented. Now because I'm using an Apple computer, this page here is configured in a particular style. Depending on what kind of computer you're using, whether Windows or Macintosh, it might be different. But the basic functions are there. So on this page, citations you will need to add a citation. The citation style stays the same, APA style. And in order to add citation, you just go to this Add Citation here at the bottom. Once you click that, a window will open, asking you for details. Of course, to cite a source, you need to have details of the source, depending on what material type you might need different details. For example, if you are citing a book, the window asks you for the author name, the title of the book, the city where it was published, and the publisher, and of course the year. This areas with asterisk must be completed, but the other areas can be completed depending on your desire. Of course, you can change the material type that you want to cite. Here, various options are provided. These are the most common material types that you might use in your academic paper. Starting from book, book section, article in a journal, article in periodical, down to film, patent, case, etc. Let's say that you would like to cite an article in a journal. So you can see that the window changed slightly because the requirements for an article in a journal are different to those for a book. For a journal article, it's required that we provide author, title, journal name and year, and the pages. 
we might also need to include volume and issue. Now I will use a journal article that I found to exemplify this. Well, here's a document that I have taken from ADA library databases. And I will try to document this article using Microsoft Word. This is a journal article. Obviously, when I choose the type of material, I need to choose specifically journal article to document the source. So it says journal article here. And I will put in the author, title, journal name, year, and pages. Let's see where these details come from. So if we go back to our citation requirements, we can see that this window asks for author, title of the work, journal name, year, and pages. And additionally, we can add a volume and issue. Let's see where we can find these details on the article. So here's our article. The article is called Seven Strong Claims About Successful School Leadership. And we can see the authors here. So the article has three authors, Kenneth Lithwood, Alma Harris, and David Hopkins. At the top here, we can see that this article appeared in School Leadership and Management magazine in Volume 28, Issue 1. And it appeared in February 2008. The article can be found on pages 27 to 42. Additionally, we can see that this article has a DOI, in other words, digital object identifier. This is a code that can directly take you to this article. And it's been recently very popular with the advent of the internet. And in a recent update of APA style citation, this DOI is required. Now that we have these details, let's go back to the window where we can add the details. So the author is Kenneth Litwit here we need to use semicolon to divide the <coughs> authors the other author is Alma Harris again semicolon and the last author is David Hopkins The title of the article is, as we read, Seven Strong Claims About Leadership. And the article appeared in School Leadership and Management Journal. The year it was published then, I don't remember it now, so I need to go back and check that. So let's pull it aside for a bit. So it was published in 2008 and published on pages 2742. Okay, back to our citation window. So, 2008, pages 2442. Okay, so we additionally know that it was published on volume 28, issue 1. But as you can see in APA style citation, these two details are not required. So we've added all our details 
Now it's time to hit the OK button to document the source. Well, there you go. The um, work has been added here. This is the first one. And of course, if we have another source to document, we can again add it, choose the material type, one of those types here, and complete the details here. Hit the OK button so that it appears. Additionally, I would like to document a book. So I'll choose book here. So I will go directly to ADA library to find a book that I can cite. So ADA website. And from this website, I'll just go to the library. And as you also remember from the previous tutorial, here I can directly go to summon which can give me a book to cite, just as an example. So I'll choose here um, International Education. Let's see what kind of books it can provide us with. So you can see that it offers various sources of information, literature, but I can use these filters here to find a book. So I'll just go to book directly. So here we can see various books. So I will choose one that I can read online. So it's Identity and Pedagogy in Higher Education International Comparisons. This is a book and it is available online through Ibrary. So I can just go to this and see how I can document this book. So all the bibliographic information is provided here. So title of the book, who wrote it, the publisher, etc. Of course, I can use these details for my citation. Additionally, these details can be found inside the book if you just go inside the book by clicking read online button so the title of the book is here identity and pedagogy in higher education and more details will be provided on the bibliographic page of the book okay so higher education this is the title the subtitle here and this is the author the authors of the book. So published by Bloomsbury in London. More details here. First published in 2013. And you can read all kinds of things here like rights of the books are reserved and you should use it responsibly. Okay, so this information will be enough for us to build our bibliography because this information can take our reader to this exact source. So I'll switch back to our Microsoft Word. Well, here we are, back to our Word document. And what we need to do is to fill in these details, these blanks, so that uh, the system creates a bibliography entry for us, for this book. So the author of the book can be seen here. And the title was Identity and Pedagogy in Higher Education, International Comparisons. As you can see, this book has a title and subtitle. And the title and subtitle can be separated using a column. We need to put the city, so this book was published in London. And um, it was published by Bloomsbury. And it was published in 
as you can see here, 2013. Okay, so after completing all these details, additions can be added here, but we don't need if we don't have those details. These are the requirements. We can click OK button and there it goes. Our two sources documented. Now we are on the save grant. As you can see, you can add as many sources as you would like and there's no limit to that. And the good thing about this feature of Microsoft Word is that you can use the sources in other papers. You don't have to enter them manually each time because Microsoft Office keeps a record of your sources and offers them for use for future works. Also, you can see in-text citation here. Uh, this is what we will deal with in another tutorial, so therefore I will just ignore this for this tutorial. We are more interested in bibliography building for this lesson. So we've added our sources. Now we can close this window, but remember that you can open it anytime you would like by clicking on the citations, and it appears there. So. The final piece is to build the bibliography. So you have done your part. Now Microsoft Word will work on it and create your bibliography. If you just go to this bibliography here, choose one of the styles that you would like. Please remember that APA doesn't call it works cited. That's probably called an MLA. So therefore, we'll just choose bibliography and edit and you can see it builds our bibliography. The first is BOPL, Identity and Pedagogy in Higher Education, International Comparisons, London, Bloomsbury. Kenneth Lidwood, and the journal article. Don't try to change this manually because it will destroy the system. Everything should be automatic. So if you want to add more citations, please add them here. After you have added your citations, your documentation, you can go and update this bibliography. So update the field, and it will add the new citations that you have added. As you can see, it's quite easy and very useful on a software that we use in our everyday life and the software that you have used to compose your essay. Please note that this is the latest version of Microsoft Office. If you would like to update your software package, you can do it free. ADA University provides free access to Microsoft Office programs. And I'll show you how you can update your Office package shortly. When you enter your ADA email homepage, you will see this. If you enter somewhere else, you can click on this Office 365 to come to this page or to download the software. But if you are on this page, you will see Install Office 2016. You can just click on this and it will automatically install it on your computer. You can open it and follow the instructions. And this will update your Word. If it is 2008, it will be updated to 2016, the latest version, with all the new features of Microsoft Word.